Hello and welcome everyone. In this video we are going to learn about how to install and set up Storybook for Gatsby. If you are new to Storybook I have given I have created an entire video on what are the benefits of using Storybook uh, so you can watch the previous video. I'm assuming you already know about Storybook or you have watched the previous video. Okay so let's set up Storybook for Gatsby. So the first thing we're going to do is install storybook globally so I'm gonna go over here just paste this command do npm install dash g for global and I add storybook CLI so we install the storybook uh, command line interface tool uh, globally I have already done that so I'm just gonna ignore that and then what you need to do is wherever you want the storybook to function uh, you need to do SB in it so SB stands for storybook and you initialize the storybook into your actual project now in our case of setup uh, since we have it inside of site we can do it either inside of site and set up everything so that it picks up the components from our theme but for now I think I would like to keep it inside of my theme itself okay uh, if you want to run this command directly from root then you may have to do it from site uh, however or from the root itself however I just like to keep it inside of the theme so let's just stick to that okay so I'll go to packages and then my theme so that's what we've been learning and I'm gonna do SB in it so SB in it and this is going to initialize the storybook into our Gatsby theme okay so let's wait for it to do that you can see it's detecting the project type uh, so it checked yes that it is actually the react project and it's adding the storybook support to our react library and it's going to install all of the dependencies that it requires for it to function properly okay so let's wait for that and in the meanwhile I can have a sip of tea would you like some okay great so you can see that storybook is pretty popular it's trusted by github dropbox airbnb mozilla uh, most of the big companies I would say do use it uh, for their development it just makes things a lot easier to building things in isolation and as you can see that it, it's built for all of these like react react native angular ambular sorry ember html and all, all of that stuff right it's pretty cool if you ask me okay brilliant so it has installed all of the packages like different add-ons for storybook install storybook react uh, add-on action add-on links all of that stuff awesome so let's see what has uh, been done into our actual project so, so you can see it's created a directory called storybook it's added some default configuration into it uh, where should the stories be served from etc and it has also created this story folder where this has got some stories already we are going to of course delete them we don't need them but just so that you know what it has done uh, what it has also done is it has automatically added a script into your package.json which is this right here so it goes ahead, it goes ahead and runs the storybook on, on this port if that port is not available of course it's going to use another one right uh, and then this is for building the storybook alright if in case if you want to ship it great um, so uh, we just need to add some configurations for this to be functioning well with Gatsby we just need a couple more uh, packages as well so the first package we want is the viewport okay so we need to install that so we'll do I'll go back to our root directory because we're using yarn so I'm gonna go to my root directory oops Gatsby WordPress themes yep and I'm gonna say yarn at yarn workspace workspace Gatsby WordPress theme Phoenix and then add and then this particular package <coughs> and then we also need to add one more package and that would be my add-on story source what this allows us to do is it allows so the first one is for the viewport and the second one is for 
to be able to see the code and when we do like uh, inside of the there's a tab at the bottom it will allow us to see the code over there okay okay so it's installing all of these packages in the meanwhile what we can do for what we can do is go ahead and uh, you know set up our configurations so I'm gonna close this I'll come back over here and this is where we need to add the configurations I think I've added that here okay I will take it from here actually it's already set up so first of all the main.js so we need to update that so let's take it main.js I'm just gonna do this over here like this so what this is going to do is going to serve uh, the stories from the stories directory inside of source okay and um, and if there are any other components uh, then it's going to look for the any file that is ending with dot stories dot js so this is my source so if there are any story directory it's going to pick that out that one up and then also we have to take care for the components so for components we're going to just write that in a moment okay and these are the add-ons so we're just telling what add-ons we're going to use okay uh, the next up is we need to add the config okay so these this is my config I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to create a file called config config.js paste it here I'm just going to explain to you a little bit over here so we are just importing the actions over here this is for global style in case if there are some styles that you want to be applied globally to the storybook only uh, you can use this global style uh, option okay and then you need to also create the place from where you are going to serve this global style so I'm gonna go into source directory and just create one which is shared and then just create a file called global and this is where I'll be serving the global one so let me just show that to you so going back source shared global so let's take take this paste it here okay I'm doing copy paste because I really need to save time okay you also need to install the style components for this so I'm just going to do that as well so this is done and I'm going to delete this I'll put style components D you might already be aware about the style components um, it allows you to write the um, Java CSS in JavaScript not many people are fan of it but it's pretty useful sometimes okay so I'm just going to use the create global styles from the style components and I'm just going to create a global style which is going to contain all of the styles that I want my uh, storybook to have so this is going to be applied globally so you don't have to keep applying it for each and every component in case if you want to okay awesome next up is um, so we are importing this add decorator and configure so configure is for configuration uh, you have the add parameter so this is going to add the initial viewport and then you have the add decorator add de decorator is going to allow us to apply the global style uh, and this is the global style that we have imported from here from the global.js okay so it's going to go ahead and apply that to our storybook okay components and then over here we are configuring it like uh, automatically import all the files ending dot stories dot js from source components so it has already created this stories example stories dot js and it just says hello over here and inside of this whatever components you have uh, if you create dot stories dot js file into that it's going to look for that and it's going to create a story for you for that okay and this is defines a global and everything so that's happening over here uh, sometimes you don't get path prefix for this so this is kind of a you know you just set that to empty over here just for mocking purposes okay and this is for navigator because the links uh, should not be redirected to some place else uh, in case if you have the actual links so that is why it will just stay here so this this will override the window.navigate methods that Gatsby defines that is used to report with a path link okay 
Uh, awesome. So it won't take us to anything that wasn't included inside of the uh, Gatsby. All right. So I've explained this entire thing to you. Now we're going to go to the Webpack config. So let's go to Webpack config. Webpack.config.js. So again, in the dot story book, we are going to add another file called Webpack dot config dot js and inside of this I'm just going to go ahead and grab this and paste it in fact you don't need the last one let's get rid of this okay just a quick explanation of this uh, so just requiring path from node and then it's going to exclude the Gatsby node modules directory okay because these are the untranspired ES6 code and then just a couple of other settings for Babel Loader and Preset React and all of that stuff going on over here. Just configuring different rules for Style Loader, CSS Loader and SAS Loader because in Storybook uh, if you're writing the ES6 etc or if you're writing you know CSS uh, then you need these loaded in order for Babel to compile them. That's why we're using these Babel Loaders and style loader CSS and SAS loader so if you even if you're writing the SAS over there you would need these loaders in order for uh, the uh, in order for it to convert into uh, the JavaScript that all browsers can understand all right great and um, awesome so that's that and now so now all we have to do is go back to into our theme and just run npm run storybook and that's it and when you run it it's going to start a development server on port 6006 if that is not available use something else and uh, it's going to as you can see that it's it's running the storybook react 5.3 which is the latest one and it's going to take the configuration from the storybook main.js over here and it's just building all of the modules that we have it's using the config.js uh, and then also the global.js all of the configuration is just picking up everything that it needs to and just building all of the stuff okay so once it's done it's going to go ahead and run our storybook quickly so let's take a look okay just complaining that it doesn't have the source stories so we're just going to drag the stories over here because that's what the configuration we provided so let's let's rerun it okay great so you can see that it's running our storybook on port 6006 and there you go congratulations so we have successfully set up our storybook awesome so you can see you've got button text uh, emoji where are these coming from well let's take a look so we have got a stories directory we've got welcome stories that says uh, welcome and that should be over here this one right here so this is my welcome okay and then I have another one which is button stories so this emoji and everything and this is coming from here okay and then we have some more stories I think over here which is example stories dot com that says hello and that would be actually this one right here awesome so you've got our storybook set up it's all all good and now we're going to start writing our queries uh, for our Gatsby applications uh, using GraphQL and then we're going to create pages and everything and then we're going to use this storybook to create our components and then finally integrate them into our application. I hope that was great and if you did like my video please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Uh, please hit a star like all these beautiful people have to my repository. Follow me on GitHub and my Twitter handle is Cody Tech, uh, so please follow me on Cody Tech for latest updates, and I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye bye.